Around 6,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year in Switzerland. One method used to detect prostate cancer at an early stage is PSA testing. PSA is a protein that is only produced by cells in the prostate gland and can be measured in the blood. A raised PSA level may indicate that there is a problem with the prostate gland. However, PSA testing can also lead to a false alarm. As a result, opinions are sharply divided as to whether or not this test should be carried out. Reason enough for us to take an in-depth look at this subject. Helsara is committed to health and actively encourages personal responsibility and health competence. We put complex health issues under the microscope and highlight the facts. The Harding Center for Risk Literacy has examined the benefits of PSA testing on the basis of scientific studies. In five long-term studies, men aged 50 years or older either participated or did not participate in regular PSA testing. After 11 years, the participants and non-participants were compared. In each group, 210 out of 1,000 men died, seven of whom from prostate cancer. 160 out of the 1,000 men who participated in PSA testing received a cancer diagnosis that subsequently proved to be a false alarm. In addition, 20 out of the 1,000 test participants were diagnosed and treated for non-progressive prostate cancer that would never have caused any problems during their lifetime. Treatment for prostate cancer can lead to impotence or incontinence, meaning that these 20 men were exposed to a wholly unnecessary health risk as a result of the testing. In summary, the findings were therefore as follows. There was no demonstrable benefit from regular PSA testing. 7 out of 1,000 men died from prostate cancer, irrespective of whether or not they underwent PSA testing. Furthermore, 20 out of 1,000 men were exposed to a significant health risk as a result of unnecessary treatment, and 160 of them had to wrongly assume that they had prostate cancer, causing them considerable emotional strain. In light of these facts, it is ultimately up to each individual to decide whether or not to undergo PSA testing. You have now gained an overview of this complex topic. You can find more detailed information here.